Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna bring back an old series that I had on this channel when I first started making videos and it kinda of got lost in the shuffle of everything. And I think it can be really helpful as you build out your wardrobe. So I'm gonna be taking one piece and styling it a variety of different ways. And today we're gonna to start off with the shirt that I'm wearing. This is a really nice white silk shirt and I find this to be really helpful as you start developing your personal style. Because when you start to pinpoint a piece and how you can wear it multiple ways and then also across all four seasons you increase the longevity of your wardrobe and you ultimately get more wear out of everything i find it to be really really helpful so now before we hop into it though i want to thank Cezanne for sponsoring today's video we're working together again as part of our ongoing partnership so this top that i'm wearing is from Cezanne, and i'm going to be styling this across all four seasons and of course i'll link everything in the description box down below so let's get started so i'd like to start this type of process off by really going through the piece that I want to style and how I can really take that energy and manifest it throughout all four seasons. So when we talk about this shirt that I'm wearing, the first thing that stands out to me is the color. It's a really nice white color and it's not off-white, it's not stark stark bright white it's somewhere right in the middle and i find that because it's this really nice neutral but then also paired with a more matte silk it kind of softens it a little bit i find it to be a lot more wearable and an easier starting point if maybe you have difficulty styling a white shirt going for something in a soft matte silk something with really delicate details and then something in a really nice kind of neutral white color that can be a really great place to start because it gives you a lot of flexibility i find that it's a lot easier to mix and match with other colors. You end up with less contrast overall in your outfits and a lot easier to kind of dip your toes into getting dressed and ultimately mixing and matching colors. Now the other thing that I want to point out about this shirt in particular is again that soft silk material which makes it feel a little bit softer, a little bit delicate, but then also the styling touches on it. So it's got really beautiful little cutout details, a really delicate high collar, really beautiful small round covered buttons and then a slightly billowy sleeve it cinches at the wrist which is something i really love i find that to be a really nice place to accent and something i enjoy for my own styling and then also to really enhance all of that it has the ever so slightly smallest delicate little puff sleeve so that brings just enough femininity into the top and kind of softens it even more so we're working with a white top but it's not a traditional stiff cotton one and if you're finding that that type to be difficult, this one can be a really nice one to start to experiment with. Looking for small delicate touches like that creates a slightly different energy behind the top. Now let's go over some of the outfits that I would put together using this top and let's start off with spring first since it's spring for most of us. And for me spring weather is some of my favorite to dress for because the temperature is perfect, it's not too cold, it's not too hot, and especially where I live it's not super humid yet so I can really get away with things that are maybe sit a little bit closer to the body and I won't feel like they're totally suffocating and sticking to me. So for this first outfit, I wanted to play on a traditional white and navy and make it feel a little bit more nautical. So I went with the white top and then navy pants and these pants are really great because they're high-waisted. They cinch at the waist and then they have a really delicate taper throughout the leg and that silhouette of a pant is a very soft silhouette. It's a very feminine, very traditionally feminine silhouette and so that balances the top really beautifully because they speak the same language and it creates a really nice foundation for different accessories. So for every day I would wear maybe a ballet flat or I would go for something like a really small kitten heel, a delicate shoe to really enhance that energy even further and then continue that throughout with the accessories and then the gold accents to really allow it to pop. And then if I wanted to contrast that a little bit you could go for something like a great colored heel and that would instantly make this feel a little bit more fun, a little bit more unexpected, and you can have a lot of fun with how you kind of balance out those details as you're building out an outfit around a top like this. So another way that I would wear this shirt for the spring is to pair it with a pair of matching pants, and keeping it monochromatic is such a great way to get dressed because it's really easy, and it creates such a cohesive base. And then you can very easily swap in different accessories and change up your hair and allow it to feel different depending on what you're doing. So the first version of this, I 
paired it with those kitten heels, matching belt, and then a really easy clutch and a tweed jacket. A little pop of color brought in. And then for the second version, I wanted to loosen it up a little bit more and really start to transition a little bit into summer. And this would be a really beautiful kind of dressier outfit for the late spring. So I unbuttoned a couple more buttons to allow it to breathe a little bit more. And anytime you let your neck out, it feels like it's warmer weather because it's a little bit too suffocating. So we instantly associate that with a more relaxed energy. And then I put my hair up, added some great earrings, swapped the belt for something a little bit lighter, and went for sandals. Now let's talk through how I would style this for the summer. So where I live right now, it is very hot and very humid during the summer, and it's not really that conducive for silk, and even though silk is very breathable, and it would definitely suit when I lived in New York. Where I live now, it's a little bit too hot for the dead of summer, but you can definitely get away with wearing a top like this for the evenings, or something a little bit dressy, and anytime you're gonna be inside for a long time. So I built this outfit around that type of thinking and the first thing that I did was kept it unbuttoned again That kind of loose feeling instantly makes it feel like summer And then I also kept the earrings and my hair up because that instantly allows things to feel a little bit more breathable as well But still also put together and add some fun accent and then to really increase the formality of it and Create an outfit that's a little bit dressy, but still also good for summer I went with a pair of tailored shorts and the high waist and the tailored feeling of these shorts and the fact that they're black makes them feel a little bit dressy but still very wearable because they're nice and breathable you get a lot of billowy movements so you get some air conditioning and then likewise with keeping it a little bit open up top you allow breeze to get in and make it a lot more enjoyable to wear, a lot more comfortable. And then to keep it a little bit casual, I skipped the belt, but you could definitely add one. And then I went with a pair of black sandals to tie in the black color. And I, I've talked about this before, but I really love this for summer dressing because you can repeat the color of your hair. So in my case, that's basically black. So going for the black hair, the black shorts, and then the black sandals, it creates a really cohesive outfit and you repeat that color a couple time so you give your eyes somewhere to travel when it comes to styling this top for the fall I think it's perfectly suited for a lot of different outfits and you can really have fun with how you layer it up and so I wanted to go through a couple different ways that I would style it so the first is a little bit dressy and it's pairing the top with a pair of gray pants and the tailored pants but the gray color it kind of balances each other out it's sophisticated it's a little bit expected for fall but a little bit softer than classic black and it creates a really beautiful foundation for uh, brown accessories and then you could also definitely wear a sweater with this draping one over your shoulder looks really great when you take photos so I did that for the cutaways here and I went for something in a really beautiful burgundy color and altogether this color palette screams fall and it's perfect for dressing this type of top up now if you wanted to wear it in a more day-to-day -day way and a more kind of traditional uh, fall way I would definitely go for jeans and a dark wash denim is perfect for the fall it instantly feels a little bit more fall than like a lighter wash and it's the way that I start to transition my wardrobe around the fall time so pairing that with a pair of dark wash denim and then a navy belt is a really unexpected way to create a sophisticated color palette and it's also a beautiful way to then wear maybe a lighter blue sweater with it and then also a great foundation for those brown accessories a pair of great brown boots and a brown bag really beautiful ways to incorporate this into the fall and definitely something you can layer up in a variety of different ways as it starts to get colder as well Another way that I would style the shirt during the fall is with a pair of shorts and something high-waisted with a great belt. It's a little bit more unexpected than the traditional pants or jeans and it's something that I've gotten into recently and I love how it looks with tall boots. This combination is a little bit retro but still very current and very comfortable and wearable. And I also think it's perfect for those kind of awkward fall days when it's a little bit warm still and it creates a really great base for any jacket. So in the cutaways here, I've done two versions. I've done the printed one and then also something a little bit more solid and a little bit more conservative feeling. So you can choose whichever one to suit your mood. And then also you'll notice when it comes to the styling, I've 
put the buttons up a little bit so that now it's all the way up and instantly that higher collar makes it feel a little bit more ready for fall and also is really great which you'll see in the next outfit for layering a sweater over it you get a little bit of that peeking through and likewise with the jacket here the collar and then the collar on the shirt they play together in a really beautiful way and you get a lot of texture play and a really great outfit so to close out the outfits i wanted to quickly share a way that i would style this in the winter and i think that layering it under sweaters is the most obvious and definitely the easiest way to wear this it's also something that allows you to get a lot of longevity out of it because the material is so soft and light layering it under a sweater creates a really seamless silhouette you don't get any bulking or bulging and no weird creasing and bumps and it's really nice for that reason so what i've done here is gone with classic black and white but i've also added in a pair of gray jeans and i love the way that gray jeans look with black accessories and then the white because it kind of balances it all out and it doesn't create as stark of a contrast and allows for a little bit of a softer palette something a little bit unexpected and really beautiful for the winter and then also for footwear i went with ankle boots because ankle boots are my favorite shoes and if i could wear them all year long i definitely would and in the winter i'd like to take full advantage of that and the way that these jeans hit just at where the ankle boot stops is perfect because then you don't get any weird gapping and you don't get any cold breezes and you can put really nice tall socks underneath to really encourage that even further and since it's winter you could definitely put any jacket over top of this and what's really great about this color palette is it works with basically any option so you could go for something in like a light white or off or cream color that would be really beautiful you could go for a traditional camel coat something in a really gorgeous charcoal gray to kind of tie in the jeans a little bit and soften it even further and then of course you could do basic black and you could do a leather jacket there is a variety to choose from and anything that's going to suit the weather and where you're going if you want it to feel dressy or a little bit more casual so those are some of the ways that you can style a white silk shirt across all four seasons i think that this type of thinking is so helpful and since i started doing this i find that i get a lot more wear out of my wardrobe and it really encourages the creativity and really allows you to build really great outfits around a single piece so you can end up doing a lot more with a lot less so let me know in the comments down below what type of pieces you want me to style next maybe it's a pair of pants jeans a jacket even anything and i will add it to the list for future videos like this also thank you to Cezanne again for sponsoring today's video thank you of course for watching it and i'll see you in my next one have a great day